Hello, hello, everybody. I am Neon Icy Wings, and I decided I want to do something different today. Something different today, because, I don't know, we just got the urge, we need to go with the flow. Go with the flow, the flow that we know. So, today, I'm going to play some Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, kind of make it a thing. Because I actually tried to do a let's play of this a long, long time ago. Well, a long, long time ago. It was like over a year ago when this game first came out. I was like, I want to do it. And then that just kind of petered out for various reasons. Like depression. So now that I'm doing a lot of streaming now, I figured, hey, I could work this in. Of course, that means making a new save, which will be... Ever so slightly painful, but at the same time, kind of liberating, so let's do it. I know. Normal, English, English, let's go. Begin with these settings, you can change them later, yes. I don't know how far I was overall, overall into the game. I think I was decently far. Yes, I know. Most of the time, I expect things to be autosave. You don't need to be like, it's going to be autosave. I kind of expected that. My dude. But it has been a long time, so I think it might be ever so slightly nice to begin from the beginning. Just so I can do things properly again. Especially because I remember adoring this game. I haven't beaten Breath of the Wild, but I kind of basically know everything that goes on about it. There's no real surprises there. Do not know everything about Age of Calamity. At least I think so. Hyrule Warriors. Age of Calamity. Small little what if. What if an egg woke up in a box? Basically. The adorable egg. <laughs> Bashes open the door and gaze upon the lamps landscape of death. Everyone. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> From what I thought the egg was gonna be blown in. <laughs> He's trying to get in. He's gonna blast the egg into the past! Fly, egg! Fly away to the past future! And of course, a bit of corruption goes with it, because... Ah, oh, music! That's the one thing that... Well, we'll get through this in a... A tale of champions. A diminutive guardian who traveled backward through time. And the great calamity they faced. But yeah. No matter how much I like Breath of the Wild, it is a crime that it didn't have an actual soundtrack. It was just piano. But we already had the time... That's kind of weird. They have Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity earlier as just like tech, white text on black screen. And then they have the full title right there. I don't know what the point of that is, quite honestly. Oh, he looks so good. I love this game. I already hear the motif because that came from the egg as well. King Rome, defier of prophecy. 
Listen well, soldiers of Hyrule. In our long history, we have scarcely faced a threat of this magnitude. The years have passed quickly since Calamity Ganon's revival was prophesied. Yes, we have unearthed the Divine Beasts and filled volumes with our knowledge of ancient relics. But a barricade of books will not protect us. That's a good line. Because this way surges a hole like we have never faced before. Even now, the enemy is clawing for our throat. For Hyrule Castle itself. We must exterminate the monsters roaming Hyrule Field. Thus, we'll begin our renewed effort to stop the Calamity. Here, now, go forth! And be brave for your kingdom! This is a nice opening. Let's go! If I can remember the controls. Fire the cannons now! Gotta beat up the monsters. Gotta remember the combos. I don't care if the frame rate is wonky. It's just so many things to kill! I just need to remember the combos, because that's one of the things that I both love and hate about this game. So many of the so many of the characters have actual combo differences, whereas in Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, the one that came like the game that kind of was on the Wii U and then came this way uh, as the definitive edition, and then I guess you have to go this way. I love that you actually explore the places a bit. Destroy the jellies! Get back here. Oh. Defeat the Moblin. Nope. I'm trying to remember. There's the lock on button for quick turning. Love the look of this game. Hello, Moblin. He actually clobbered me. And now, smash the weak point! Another thing that I kind of like that they added. It's not all just... Diddly dee that or diddly dee this. Be gone! And like the, from what I remember of later in the game, they just have so much that they actually have, like, nice little specialty things. Okay, and a monster. I think I'm behind him. There we go. Need to find boxes. Boxes to destroy. Oh, yeah. Treasure chests. I forgot they drop those. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Can't wait to play through this again. Booyah! Hi, that's why. Need to remember, lock-on is not a trigger or shoulder bump. It is the stick bump. I'm still not good at the dodge slowdown ability. It took so long for it to actually get to its uh, diddly dee. Just 
love the feel of the game. Frame rate aside. He's a butterfly. Pretty butterfly. I know there's a war going on. But I see an egg. And I just must have it. See, this is why you don't slow down during war. Also, this is just hilarious considering what you can do with Impa as a player. Impa, Royal Advisor. Protect the Sheikah Slate. It is too important. The egg has awakened. It just grabs the tablet while running. Huh? Why is this happening? Technology. That's hilarious. The egg takes a step. Big smash. Behold the power of the Sheikah Temple. Not Sheikah Temple, but Sheikah Tower. We began with a T. And we don't even have to climb this one. The egg has awakened. Must adopt the egg. <laughs> it sounds like it just whistles casually. Yeah, that was weird, but we have to go kill monsters now. Get out of here. I am the hero of legend. That's why technology listens to me. Obviously, Link, the original hacker man. Give me that. Be gone, monsters. We have much to do. Much monsters to murder. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw the apple icon turned roasted. All right. Right, why? I'll need to get used to that. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's another thing we can do. We can actually deflect. Oh, I'll need to learn how to do that properly. There we go. And smash the weak point. We can actually do it since we have the Sheikah Slate. That's the one thing I like. They add a bit of puzzle solving in there. To actually weaken the diddly Ds much more effectively. I adore that. Smash the box. Ah, stronger dudes. I forgot they throw that. We don't fight with our clubs. We throw them. There we go. I just had to clear the way. Our commanders are clearly barrels. Let me destroy the barrels. Destroy someone's livelihood. I always want to get there faster than them, but I never do. Get out of the way. And goodbye, monsters. Love when I get the whole... Just a whole group of them. It's so satisfying. And that's the one big thing that I like about this game over the original Hyrule Warriors is that they can render so much more. Hello. <laughs> you really didn't think that through, did you? Big Moblin man. I think it's a Moblin. Not a Bok Goblin. Open Sesame. There we go.
A fearsome monster has appeared. Oh, I can now play as Impa! Now that's another big thing that I really like. They added in. Alright, let's see. Uh, you continue on to that. While I take control as Impa. I need to remember. There you go. Steal yourself. I am ready. Destroy him. Kaboom. And now we have the Wizrub's power. Accidentally did that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm beginning to remember how this works. I remember how things work now. Hey, you go on ahead to the main place. I shall return to being... Link. <laughs> Clear the way, lizard people! Murder is here, and a bunch of people. They just spawned in. I do not mind whatsoever. There we go. Took you too long, Mike. Open sesame. I'm gonna go to that other place because it might hold secrets. Well, not secrets. I forget. The, like, each place I think has its own challenges. Like each mission. I'm gonna make my way across this bridge to the final place. Because I want to do them all. It says capture the outposts. I'm gonna capture all the outposts. Even the ones it doesn't highlight because I am just want to do everything. Conquer everything. Become the greatest warmonger that Hyrule has ever seen. And plus it's just more things to kill. More levels up, level ups to have. There we go. Bomb time. Die! Mwahaha! <laughs> hey, I forgot. They drop chests that I can have! Resources! Resources! The greatest thing ever. And yeah, the music. Fantastic as well. Can't wait till we get to our my favorite track in the entire game. I think it happens relatively early. And I love it. It's like, that's the one thing. I think this... Like, despite being just a Hyrule Warriors game. Or, Hyrule Warriors. Uh, a... What is, it, what is the normal series? The... Uh, I honestly forget what the normal series is. I just always call them... Warriors games. But yeah, basically the games that spawn this from Koei Tecmo. You go there, you fight months, like you just have giant armies. Like despite just being a Warriors game, it's like the same thing. It has a. I actually like the story from what I remember. I found it very good, if only because it's actually based on the Hyrule Warriors story, like before the Calamity. Everything that led up to it, and the fact that it is a, like, what if time travel story. Fantastic. Love it. 
die, lizard man. Liz I forget what they're called. Lizolfo? Oh god, I also remember now. Koroks exist. It's real bad. A troop of moblins have appeared. Well, luckily, we already captured that place. And another whiz robe. Defeat the moblins. My, my normal strategy of dealing with these guys is using the time stop, but we don't have that. But we do have bombs. Take that, whiz robe. Die. Wahoo! Alright, now we can head to our uh, chosen destination. After taking care of these guys. Be gone! Wait, I'm going the wrong direction. I just saw a band of monsters, so I'm just like, I'm gonna go there. It's very bad this way. You! You! Come here, you! 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 Korok! Some of them get really evil later on. Can't wait to face them. Dang it. Fine, I'll just throw bombs. There we go. I wanted to shoot off arrows, but it just wasn't working. Give me a chest. Hello, Moblin. Hello, Mobby. Ha ha! Two in my vicinity, I use my power. Wow. <laughs> the egg is just freaking out. Nope. Thank you for the leniency you have on those, game. I don't even need it. Ow, how dare you. You die anyway. Woo, big chest. He picked up the dude and threw it at nothing. It's on water, so it didn't even do anything. I accidentally pressed the button again because I'm so used to, like, locking on with shoulder or triggers, not sticks, even though a lot of the time they actually do. Where did your weapon go? Why do you have no weapon? You are an unprepared moblin. Now you die. Your unpreparedness has gotten you killed! Good. <laughs> Good. Victory is your reward. Your only reward. <laughs> In this game, Link is immediately like, he is absolutely slaughtering the enemy. Maybe we should bring him in. Wow. Nice. I looked at 17 and I was like, level 17? Even though it's just, just the damage. Me silly. But yay. And stuff for Impa as well. All the items. All the materials. <laughs> 52 mushrooms already? Did they increase, like... I, I could have sworn. Like, some of these. Did they increase drops or something? I don't know. And these, like, quest rewards. Or, yeah, quest rewards, I think. An 
inexplicable guardian and a mysterious tower. He is the I greatest think, guardian. But we have little hope of figuring this out on our own. We must bring in the weirdos. Hey, what are you? Egg no, is ho heading home. <laughs> Egg phone home. Egg does not care. Egg go home. Each of you has served your kingdom admirably. Huh. <laughs> it's like they laughed. It's a joke. You've served admirably. Ha! Zelda, burgeoning scholar, princess. You made it. I'm glad you're safe, Impa. Yes, your highness. And I've received the Sheikah slate from Pora. <laughs> Egg says hello. <laughs> It is a very egg. Your Highness. The Sheikah Slate conveyed the little guardian's purpose. This anomalous visitor had traveled from a future of ruin, a time in the midst of the calamity, to save Princess Zelda. He's a good egg. Impa proposed recruiting Pura and Robbie, renowned researchers of ancient technology, to study the Guardian and investigate the mysterious tower that had appeared on Hyrule Field. King Rome of Hyrule gave his assent. I just love this story. I'm a sucker, because like, like, I'm a sucker for like good fan fiction stories, and this feels like a fan fiction story. And the fact that it's just like, it, I like it. It's, it does the one thing that we all kind of want. In order for Link, the Hylian Knight, you must guard the mysterious tower that has appeared. I'm told it may be portent. As for this time-hopping guardian, is it truly deserving of our trust? You must discern this beyond any doubt with the aid of the researchers. May the goddess Hylia watch over you always. Rome, Bosphoramus, Hyrule. And this became our clubhouse. Link, Silent Knight, a skilled swordsman serving the royal family of Hyrule. Born to a line of Imperial Guards, he is renowned for his fighting skills and courage. Impa, Royal Advisor, Loyal Friend. The advisor to Hyrule's royal family and revered member of the Sheikah tribe. She is dedicated to her work and known for being steadfast and diligent. She can be distractible at times. Hello there, Carl. I am doing very well. I'm playing a game that I love, Hyrule Warriors. Just so happy that they actually put frickin' music in. So great. Use the Sheikah Slate to choose a destination. Yep, yep. Save data from the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was found. Yay! I got a stick! Expansion pass data found. Yep, yep. Thank you, thank you. Ah, the little jingle. So, <laughs> I love the little jingle. Just brings me back. I think I skipped a thing. Oh well. Let's see. Hyrule Fighting Academy. Let's do that. Oh, well, let's read it. Let's read it. Do you have a nice Christmas and New Year? I did indeed. It was very good. How about you? Did you have a good Christmas and New Year, Carl? Hyrule Sword Fighting Academy. A great swordmaster wants to start a monster fighting workshop, but she lacks materials to build her classroom. Help provide the resources she needs. Well, we have more than enough for that. Huzzah! With the materials Link provided, the Swordmaster built a perfect classroom. As thanks for his help, she offered to let him join the class. Yay! Oh yeah, for God, you actually do think... I just love the system for this game. Love it. Complete quests in a region to contribute there. Work together with the denizens across the kingdom to grow stronger and fight against the calamity. We must... The egg says we must cook! 
The head cook of the Hyrulean army has shown you a cooking pot. Good fortifying meals can make all the difference. Try it out. Strike up a fire. Get cooking. Yeah, I got into the Switch OLED for Christmas. Super cool! Especially since I think those kind of suffered from the resource... Like, troubles. So that's extra nice. You got the fire going and cooked for the first time. Now if a pot of fire and the right ingredients, you'll be able to cook a variety of dishes. Do it whenever you need sustenance. I can make steamed meat on a leaf. Can't do that because we need more kills. Can't do that because we need more flowers. However, can do this. Impa bonus hearts. Impa ran across a merchant in the Hebra region who lamented that it had been years since his last journey home to Kakariko Village. Maybe a few souvenirs will ease his homesick heart. Have an have a, have a sunset firefly. Have a bug, my dear sir. I knew I could do Seeing it. Seeing the luminous flies from his beloved hometown, the merchant's face crinkled into a warm, nostalgic smile. Now that home doesn't feel far away, he could happily return to work. Ah, and instantly another bonus combo. The people of Kakariko Village wish to maintain their home's peaceful ambience by placing traps around the outskirts of town. See if you can rustle up some trap components for them. Huzzah! I already did it. New power, new Monsters who ta tried to encroach upon Kakariko Village found themselves ensnared in traps, making it easy for the villagers to fend them off. The scene gave Impa inspiration for a new move. Can't do that yet. So, onwards to the next mission. Road to the Ancient Lab. Equipping weapons. You can change the equipment of your characters you are using from the party menu. You can also edit your party by pressing plus on the Hyrule map. Well, first, you really need to level you up. Have a better sword. Let's see. I won't use that just because it's like a... I'll use it maybe later, but not now. This, <laughs> I just find it funny. Chance to automatically guard. That's interesting. Let's see. Anything else of the little bonus charms? Hmm. Strong attack damage plus two. I like me some strong attack damage. And just these. I find it funny that the helmet is automatically off. Now these, do I want to use them? Let's see. Eh, I'll keep these. They're just cosmetic, so that's nice. I don't feel obligated to use them. And now let's cook. Damage plus five. Do we have... Which kind of told me that are uh, the overall ingredients. But I think we have a decent of those ingredients yes. from the last one. What so increase the damage. What a treat. Mm -hmm. I love that they comment on the cooking. Now let's go. Let's try and level up Impa in the next match. Zelda, curious about the diminutive guardian, decided to accompany Impa on her journey to Pura's research facility. With Link acting as bodyguard, they made their way to the ancient tech lab. The information written here will undoubtedly come in handy in future battles. A true knight never stops learning. Well, we already have to move on. No time for tips. Ah, yes. Three guards. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Zelda. Me too. Well, I guess I wouldn't say huge fan, mainly because there are lots of gaps in my knowledge. But Zelda series has always been one of my favorite. I just need to actually go and play them more. And now that I'm streaming more, maybe sometime, I'll have to go through a bunch of Zelda games in a row, like I am with Pokemon on the side. I'm just playing this one because I'm just like, I'm in the mood for Hyrule Warriors. And I'm just like, yeah, you know what, Hyrule Warriors, I'll play Hyrule Warriors. I suppose all we can do is wait for Robbie and the others at the lab to analyze it. Agreed, Your Highness. The egg sounds the alarm. Angry eggs are here. I love that that's included in the cutscene. And I need to learn to do that. 
again. Why? Evil time travel. See, you should have brought more soldiers. I'm monsters too. Now of all times. You should have seen it coming. Monsters never rest. Smash me today. I always hate... I, I have trouble seeing the kicks coming. The kicks... They come out of nowhere. And the fun of me is just like, eh, better to avoid the damage entirely than... Try and get the rush. I thought, hey, I actually saw that one coming. I am learning. Ah, he got me with the backswing that time. And the kick. Could did not see that one coming that time. Princess of me. Hey, run down. Who is all forced to murder? What am I doing? I should... Level up some Impa as well. There we go. Impa is so fun to play once you actually get her power up. Steel Bring it to me! I am ready. So fun. Uh, I, I see thing. He want to destroy thing. Even if it causes me great pain. All right, outpost time. Just keep up the power. Keep up the dominance. Right. Even if it does mean we have to sometimes wait for enemies to spawn. It's kind of funny. Sorry, we can't take over this this encounter place yet. We have to wait for more enemies to come defend. Show our dominance. Steal yourself. I am ready. And explosion for the boy. Ah, he survived. Not for long. Oh, yeah. It gave me a fish. That's always nice. Oh, we're not safe. I already tried... I forget if killing you actually does anything. We must run. Run away, I beg you. New objective, flee. Run away, run away from the giant monster. I know we can kill it, but I forget if it does anything for us. Very long, very long. Sadly, Impa cannot reflect laser beams. What can be done? The thing's relentless. Need to wait for it to open up the next place. 
Egg has an idea. Quickly, let the cat out. Now, let's see. Go this way, maybe. And let's control you to do, 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 do. Link, go that away. While Impa goes this way. Yeah. Oh, wow, they just never stop. Can't stop, won't stop. I have a bad habit of trying to just go immediately at them. It's like, if I'm fast enough, I can outspeed them. And then usually they beat me up. And that is my fault. Off to the marker, my shadow clones. We have things to murder. I love the music in this game. It's the only crime of Hy Hy Hyrule... Th th that Hyrule is. The only crime of the original Breath of the Wild. Not enough music. The Zelda music is always fantastic. I understand why they did it, and it kind of fits the game and all, but... Ah, I just love me some good music. Especially for later tracks in this game. Go ahead. Expand our horizons! Gotta level up. Get more power, so we can take it faster. Kill more monsters. Steal yourself. Now I'll just go ahead and obliterate you. Love it. Nope, can't go that way, we must go this way. I know there's probably, like, lots of Koroks that I'm overlooking, but I can always look for them later. I keep doing that by accident. For some reason, I'm just so used to it. It's like, no, no, that's the lock-on button. Not the stick. Wow, we already got the other two. Nice. the other guardian. The other guardian be here. Activate the guardian. Shoot at the boy. He just knocks it over. Do we want to send them by anywhere? I guess we'll send we'll send them by after the uh, Hyrulean guard. That I can actually do things, protect the guard. <laughs> ah, Zelda's going to keep doing that by accident. And this is one cool thing. They actually, it's just like, how do we make the meek non-combat 
Zelda. A fighter in this game is just like Chica Slate Magic technology. I love their creative solutions to things. And we'll sim him after that as we take control. If I remember correctly, I had the hardest time getting Zelda down. And I currently don't have the combos that I predominantly used with her. Avoid fighting the Guardian. I'm not fighting the Guardian. For me, I really am just exactly like <laughs> Zelda right here, just randomly pushing buttons, hoping something happens. Go, bomb! Just push buttons, things will explode, and happiness can be had. Don't fight the... Don't fight the Guardian, it's more like don't fight the electric whiz robe. I forgot they actually do different interesting things. Oh, I got the rush. Cool. If I use the Sheikah Slate <laughs> creatively, more like if I just press random buttons. Eh, uh, just follow me. Go bomb. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that. The, I forgot that that actually works. As well. I love it. It's the little things in this game. Fantastic. Do that before I die. Because I'm playing way too recklessly. I won, despite the fact all I have is technology I don't understand. Open a chest. And activate. Now we have to lure it in. I just have to find a jump off point. So many places look like jump off points. Oh yeah. Hello, Korok. I fear looking for all of you in the future. <laughs> I forgot. It's like, her knees, they're gonna break. Stay with Link. How do I get over there? Ah, through here. Come, Guardian, Guardian. Enough murdering people. Enough giving me wood. Just come over here to this nice shiny spot. It's nice and happy. Greatness can be had over here. Destroy some. A promo is like, oh no, my time has come to try and reflect a laser. Never mind, it's dying.
You want this, Guardian? Stasis did. You killed the captain! How dare you! He was a friend that we don't know the name of. So I stab you in the eye and you die. And now it explodes! Almost looks like it exploded twice. What fun. The egg saved the day. <laughs> he's looking at Link. He's just like, yes, he is a fine specimen. The Grand Destroyer. <sighs> oh no, it's an evil egg. In this world, there is not enough for just one egg. Ah, we got a literal stick this time. Ah, and more things. We completed rewards. Yay. And I swear, we are getting so many resources that I do not remember being given this many resources when I played this at launch. Technology, the likes of which I've never laid eyes on. Which means we've got ourselves a brand new, never before witness. Guardian Battle! <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, genius eccentric. Devices like the Sheikah Slate, which are amplified by the power of such ancient relics, are but a meager fragment of such technology. I see. That explains why all of us were able to use the Sheikah Slate. In addition, <laughs> this here doohickey is loaded with data. Information. We can't even fathom. Oh yeah. Check it. Pura. Eccentric genius. We have the genius eccentric and the eccentric genius. Extracted some visual data from the Guardian's memory. I just love that we actually get to see yep. these characters. Yep, about it. Hyrule Castle after Calamity Ganon has been revived. As you can see, we managed to extract some of the data, but much of it was fragmented. Even yes. so, if I analyze what we received, I may be able to make sense of more of it. This is the ruin the Calamity will bring upon all of Hyrule. If we allow this to pass, I fear all hope will be lost. I just love the story. Even everything we've done up until now likely won't be enough. If I don't succeed at sealing the Calamity... Never. This will not come to pass. I just love what they did with the story. It's like, we're going to have alternate history. They possess the sword that seals the darkness, the latent power dwelling within the princess of Hyrule, and the might of the four divine beasts unearthed from across the land. However, the path to victory was strewn with obstacles. Korok Forest, where the legendary sword slept, had been overrun by monsters, and the princess of Hyrule's power showed no signs of awakening. Lamenting the kingdom's plight, King Rome sent his daughter to gather pilots for the divine beasts. Alongside Link, whose brave conduct had earned him a role as her knight, Zelda would meet with each of the four candidates. You intend to let this 
relic follow you around? Hmm? It allows us to use great technology, Father. Yes. After talking to Pura and Robbie, we thought it would be best. I will remind you once again. Above all else, your duty is of the utmost importance. Are we clear? Yes, we are clear. I understand. And I will honor my duty. You don't have to be so hard on her, dude. She already, she literally saw the effects of the future. That things are going to get worse. If she doesn't f fix everything. <laughs> Pressure is super hard on her, dude. He's just like, mm, there's not enough pressure. She already knew that so many lives lay on her shoulder. And then she saw that, oh no, things are not going to work according to this future traveling robot. Obviously the answer is even more pressure. Old man, not smart. Zelda, burgeoning scholar, princess. The princess of Hyrule in whose veins flows the blood of the goddess. She is devoted to researching ancient technology and awakening her sacred power. And then of course... So many things! Challenges! The power of the Guardian from the future has opened the path to a battlefield from another world! Travel there to tackle new challenges. Map overview. While you're on the map of Hyrule, you can view scenarios, quests, and more by pressing L and R. Royal Ancient Lab, a laboratory dedicated to researching ancient technology. Complete Pura and Robbie's research request to put the results into use in battle. The blacksmith of Hyrule have been trying their, to make their bodies burlier for smithing. They've trained day and night. Now get them what they need to be in top shape. Five iron mushrooms. You did well. The blacksmiths finally achieved peak perfection, and they're ready to get to work. They formed the Hylian Blacksmith Guild and will now make weapons suited for warriors. Hy Hylian Blacksmith Guild. By fusing weapons with your base weapon, you can forge it into something stronger. You can sell any un unneeded weapons too. Sheikah Slate bonus combo. Progress has stalled on development of a new upgrade for the Sheikah Slate. Princess Zelda believes that certain monster parts may give her the clue she needs to overcome this hurdle. Uh, then he's getting rid of some moblin trophies, but we can sacrifice it. I refuse to be anything less than capable. When you gave Princess Zelda the monster parts, her eyes lit up and she rushed off to continue her work on the Sheikah Slate expansion. You knew research would proceed smoothly now. Ah, double strong attack. See? Ah, one-handed weapon bonus combo. Some villagers have asked the swordsmaster to call, uh, to take care of all the Lizolfos skulking around town. Unfortunately, her hands are full. Perhaps Link can take care of it? <sighs> the swordsmaster was delighted to see Link return to classroom with proof of the Lizolfos' defeat. She passed along the good news to the villagers. Yay, another strong attack combo. Ah, and then that means that we don't have everything for these. No! The merchants! Oh well. Let's see, is there any to do? Oh, we can do this merchant! Or not, it, well, I think it's a merchant. Pumpkin burglars! A shop owner is mad that macoblins are stealing the pumpkins from his supplier's field. The owner will soon come unglued if this keeps up, so do what you can about the macoblin problem. We have so many macoblin trophies. You can have my one honeybee! With honey and honeycomb, the owner of the field can lure bees to the pumpkin patch. And bokoblins hate bees. That fixed everything! So the shop owner is happily back at work. Hive Spirits Produce, now available. The various shops sell different materials. Be sure to check them out. They might just be carrying what you're looking for. Yeah. Mm, well, we don't have any eggs. I would like them all. Mm. Goat butter. Yes. Mm. Sugar cane, mm. sure. And we have all the goblin guts we need. Aww. Well, maybe not all of them, but we'll 
I'm sure we'll get more in the future. And it's like, point here, do the thing. You. Let us raise the level of the weapons. Weapon fusion. Raise the base weapons level and power by fusing it with other weapons. These are consumed, but will pass on more one or more seals that augment a weapon. More if he consumed weapons level is higher. There we go. And I can pass on the chance to block, but I think I'll save that and try to give that to a later weapon. Maybe even that. But let us do this. The full ditty! This is how it'll turn out. Give it to me. A good weapon. Fusion ex material experience. So yeah, if we use that, I think it's like, oh, it'll be super powerful. Battlefield specific material drop. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Love the little hums. And now we are going to the place of the best music and the best character, Ravali, the Rito Warrior. Damage, damage from enemies or movement speed. Well, let's take less damage from enemies. Off we go to the best music. <laughs> the Rito resided in a settlement on the Tabantha frontier. These feathery folk were blessed with the ability to glide along the wind, and they were adept with bow and arrow. Counted among them was Rivale, the most capable warrior of all the Rito. The natural choice to pilot divine beast, the Bar Meadow. Zelda and her companions set out for Rito Village in hopes of securing his help. And because this is a war, oh, to there's more. The, mobs, the party tried crossing through the snowfield, but a fierce blizzard befell them, halting their progress. Link asked Zelda to wait in safety while he and the little guardian scouted the area. Time for war. Make use of the updrafts to soar high into the sky. And of course, because this is a warrior's game, we have to fight everyone. How do we make an excuse for them to fight? Who knows? But we have to. This nonsense again. They got the perfect voice actor for Ravali. It looks so cool. Ravali. Rito Warrior. Rito Village is my home. While I'm here, you won't be getting any closer. Love it. Hurry! They must be stopped. Best music. Best music in the game. Yes, best combo. Love it. Keep forgetting wrong buttons. Clear the way. 
love the music. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Yep, we can't go that way because that's blocked off. We have to go this way. Love the designs of the Ritu in this game. We took out the bridge. Great. Now the village should be safe. You underestimate my power. effects just a bit and voice just a bit background music for days wrong button my brain I don't know what game I played it's just like ah this is the readjust camera button it just is Take this, Rito Captain. This base has now belong to us. This does put a bit of a dark tinge. It's just like kind of implying we're killing lots of dudes. Goodbye, Rito Captain. At least there's wonderful music. the music it's not a smart idea to put your home at the top of all these vents I'm flying towards you. Love the music. Hello, Rito Captain. I have a supercharge for you. It's a normal attack. Go and report this to the village. We need updated orders. I can fly. Mwahaha. This is one of my favorite combos. into the under of the valley where we can actually fight monsters hello bombs for the whiz robe Take this with robe. Be gone. <laughs> the music changed there for a moment. Oh, an ice moblin. Thank you. 
Dang it. Almost there. There we go. Oh crap. Take this ice moblin. No idea why there's an ice moblin amongst these Lizalfos, but I'll take it. Hey, we took care of your monster problem. That means we're friends. We gone. Although it is a bit wonky to realize that a lot of the characters you know from Breath of the Wild don't exist because they haven't been born yet. Haha! <laughs> Sent him flying. Sorry to make you go all the way. You'll probably need to take a break soon. I don't need a break. I am the legendary Link. The only one stronger is the legendary Lonk. I'm gonna get this chest. To prove that we are the good guys, we must beat up these people who think we're the bad guys. That'll surely solve our problem. Annihilation. Sorry, Rito Captain. It's the only way. Ah, oh, but at least the good, good music. Oh, love it. Na -na 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 -na. Uh, oh, I came up here purely by coincidence. Hello, dude. We annihilated that and oh more are flying in! More to the slaughter! Ah, uh, a bombing for you! Hello there, Rito Captain. How dare you throw bombs at me! Goodbye! We should probably try and level up. Oh. Uh, I'm probably going the absolute wrong way. Well, let's try and go that way. Either I completely missed this, or it opened up somewhere else. I was too busy on I can go this way and murder and jam to lovely soundtrack. La 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 la. Goodbye, sir. Honestly, Impa is kind of terrifying at full power. She's a mini army all to herself. Korok, Korok, Korok. Eh. 
in Vice Batman. Okay, dynamic music all of a sudden. <laughs> they just put a, a bomb next to themselves. And everything exploded. I never used that before. I don't think. Alright. <laughs> Seems fairly stubborn, but no matter, I'll have to I'll have him turning tail in time. Sorry, no, you won't. I'm Link. Gotta annihilate all the army so that they're safe and unconscious and potentially dead. Be gone, Captain Boy! I don't have time for this. Make way, my dude! We're almost done murdering our way to Rito Village. Hopefully the Ritos don't mind. But it is just super cool to actually fight our way through. Sure, it's, it's gonna happen for all the armies. Because we have to fight everyone just to be able to have them as enemies to fight in the game, but come on, super amazing. And because of time travel, we can even make sense of it. There were differences. Advance halted. Keep making your way. And another Korok. And I'll even be able to get that other one that really plagued me. Ride the wind! Even though it's really just jumping down. Take this! The ultimate strategy! I love me some one round <laughs> destroy their weak points is my favorite thing in the world. I keep forgetting to use the whiz robe stuff. I just, it never comes to mind. It's too epic to use and I just forget to. Ready? Let us begin. Ah, I got turned around at the last second. Oh, never mind. Yay, I remembered where I actually wanted to go. Wonders never cease. This is certainly unusual for an insult. Our strategies fell through. Now it's up to me. So I'm just going to come over here for this other Korok that I actually remember exists. That one confuzzled me in the past. And now, time to beat up the boy. Ravali, I'm here to murder you. Love the strings for the Rito music. 
Love it. Hello, <laughs> cocky bastard. My lovely boy. Not even teleported Impa here. Don't tell me you can't even fly. This is hardly worth my time. I can kind of fly. I can jump into the air with a combo. Look at that. I didn't expect you to make it this far. I suppose I'll go ahead and humor you. I've been doing that just to get more mileage out of my attacks. Through the power of Chica technology, bring this bird boy down. Dang it, I missed. You're not as weak as I expect. If I'm not careful, you may even steal this win. Time to settle this nonsense. Don't blink or you'll miss my rousing victory. Fool! I have technology and anime on my side. Love the music. Finally caught me in that. Huh. I don't even know what he did there. I was too busy. Not finished yet. Gonna use gravity against me! Come on, Link, I was doing better than this, and you're me! You may think you're good. Marvelous shot. Took you a while to get here, didn't it, Zelda? Well, then again, we did tell her to stay safe while we went and scouted ahead. And then we just started a mini-war. But I almost beat him! Come on, Zelda! We were supposed to win! Ah, Feathered Edge. Nice. And more things! We even got more butter. Like I swear. Getting mushrooms and stuff. Ah, we don't get trophies. Oh, well, guess then again, the trophies are actual. We took a body part from the creature, but at the same time, wouldn't that make these like horns trophies? Yeah, I get it's kind of like a gameplay mechanic thing. It's like these are the actual amounts of you killed, and these are the actual items worthy for use of crafting and items and quests, but eh. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, snow cool trousers! Yay! The best trousers. Rito Village had repeatedly been attacked by monsters led by an unusual guardian. Ravali and his countrymen had barely repelled the monsters, but were wary of further attacks. I understand the situation now. I'm thankful no harm befell you, either of you. Pardon me. Huh? But we must address the gravity of there being another guardian resembling the little one, your highness. Mm. Yes. It is an evil twin. It is in some way connected to the calamity. I 
from the far-off nebula of low rule. We both know you'll be needing my unique skills to pilot that divine beast. Hmm? However, love the Rito. About this pathetic knight in your service. Are you sure he's got what it takes? I mean, I almost beat you. <laughs> what the? Egg says no fighting. Oh, I see. Our friend believes itself to be a knight as well, in service of the princess. <laughs> it what? <laughs> yes, bring down, bring him down to funny haha -ha land. Every last one of you. Bring down the prideful bastard down to funny haha -ha land. It is where he deserves to be. Ravali, Rito Warrior, a gifted archer who has mastered an aerial move previously thought impossible. While boastful, he has the skills to back up his claims. Now he is entrusted with piloting Divine Beast Von Meadow. He's a lovely boy. Wants me to do this one. Needed researchers. The gang use of the Seek Sheikah sensor, which was super useful. But do I have the things to spare for now? I do have Lizolfo's ne everything needed. But do I really want to... It'll be useful later. Entrance test. The military training camp for leveling people up. Relief for soldier stress. Soldiers gather in a room within the Sage Temple to meditate upon the discipline of soldiering. Bring them something to help guide their military mindfulness. When you burned the material, the fragrance helped the soldiers achieve balance in body and mind. Their military meditation will be far more effective now, gaining use of meditative training. What is that? Meditative training. Visit the temple and meditate in peace. Quiet meditation will allow you to practice your skills in an imaginary world. <laughs> That's an amusing way of doing it. And recipe for um, mob Mabe Souffle. Uh, that's super easy. It's just one herb. In Mabe Village, a souffle made with herbs is a beloved dish for celebrations. A parent wants to make it for a child's birthday and needs help getting a key ingredient for this aromatic, aromatic dish. With your herbs in hand, the parent was able to make the birthday souffle. What a lovely Mabe tradition. The child loved it, and thanks, you were taught the life-giving recipe. Experience up! Yay! So the bonus hearts, but I don't really use her. Let's see. Maybe, maybe. Should do those. And might as well. The interest chest is interest entrance test! Not interest. Bleh. A special instructor at the military training camp will give you training if you show him proof you've defeated a large number of monsters. Get that proof to earn. Well, we're not getting the sensor just yet, because this is more important in my mind. After proving that you have defeated plenty of monsters, the instructor recognized your battle ability. He said he will train you any time, as long as you have enough rupees. <laughs> Bombs, rope, as long as you have enough rupees. You can spend rupees to pay for training and level up characters that have joined you. And we'll train Rivali the normal way, because he is a good boy. Let's see, anything else? We can do a few up here. A Hyrulean soldier who moved to his wife's home, Tabantha Village, wants to make a traditional recipe, no, recipe, dish to show her how much he cares. He's trying to make the batter, but lacks an ingredient. Here you go, my dude. You did well. 
With your help, the Hyrulean soldier was able to complete the batter recipe and bake the Tabantha dish. His wife was delighted and in thanks, he taught you how to make it too. Movement speed, 15. Woot woot. Don't have the things, but we do have this. Bonus hearts for Avali. Ah, uh, but we don't have enough for the bonus combo. <laughs> A curious Rito needs light to check out the suspicious lodge at Hebra Trailhead. It seems a fire would provide sufficient illumination. This will do. With a small fire lit, the Rito was able to inspect the lodge from corner to corner. He found nothing of note inside. However, he suggested that it might prove useful as a storage space. Let's go ahead and level up the boy. Ravali's training. Restricted allies and time limited. You call this one surprising. Surprising. Ah, I get it. Because... Since this is one of those alternate scenarios in another world, it actually teleports you away. But if it's a story mission in the real world, you actually take off and fly. Details! I never noticed that before. Love it. Let's see. Trying to get my combos back in order. Can't wait to get the actual good combo that I use again and again. to disappoint, but you won't be breaking through. one but I'll use this instead Love that strategy with Rivali. Being able to dodge out of it makes it super nice. Get the bonus arrows and able to continue attacking. Lovely. Ethereal Stone. A mysterious stone brought back from an otherworldly battleground. It must have some use. What wonders. Darn it, now I really want that Sheikah Slate sensor. We'll just have to go and beat up some Levos Lasolfos. Ah, what's this? A bonus combo! 
Rewards for completing the beginner's course at the flight range have been lost in transit. The Reno instructor is frantically searching for something to give folks who finish the course. <laughs> the rewards were ready for the beginner trainees before they finished their flight range course. The instructor was relieved that no one would leave disappointed. And can we? Ah, we need Lazolfo still. It's kind of glowing, so I wondered. But onward we go. Can we do this one? Cannot. Now let's go do... Ah, once level 10. Then we shall go do... Ooh, Lazolfo's infestation! Perfect! And of course... Surprising. Experience! I can't wait for the upgrade that lets us have two meals! And then that combo for extra experience gets bigger and bigger. Weapons via the blacksmith. Mm -hmm. Outposts, secure resources for your side by capturing enemy outposts. Stasis, the r this rune freezes time for the enemy, allowing you to unleash one-sided attacks. Revali, even when you're airborne, you can still dodge by pressing B. Take this, enemies! I'm in the air! I love it. Love Ravali. This is so nice. Except for slopes. The slopes kind of get him a bit. Destroy! Destroy them all! Super fast. And that should get us, uh, hopefully, enough to do a lot of things with the Lizalfos bonuses. Yep, we got some decent horns and bugs. Huzzah! Will wonders never cease? <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and grab this because it's a nice utility thing, and now we can really afford it. You did well. I forgot to read it. Ah, lore. And uh, we can come down here and get another merchant. A stable master is renovating his stable, adding a fancy suite with a, uh, adding a fancy suite with a fluffy bed and premium fruit. But that fruit is proving to be a challenge. Can you help? I had this fruit all along. Why he wants me to prove that I've murdered Lazolfos, I do not know. With the renovations complete, plus the deluxe fruit you brought, the stable master finally held the grand reopening of his stable. You're now welcome to drop by any time. 
The traveling merchants of Hyrule set up a trade association of sorts. As a result, you can now purchase rare items at stables that traveling merchants have visited. Ah, so that's what that is. I always kind of wondered why some changed from time to time. A stable master has been helping with the fishing because nearby Lurili, uh, Lurlin village needs seafood for a festival. He's had a step away from his stable. Help him fish so he can reopen it. After you helped gather the seafood for the Lorlin Village Festival, the stable master was able to focus on his work again. He's reopened his stable to the public. Lakeside Stable! Yay! Oh, we could get another bonus combo! Some Rito workers are performing maintenance on the flight range. They want the platform strong enough to withstand bomb arrow blasts. Get some sturdy materials for them to use. I won't stop Using monster materials, the workers finish the job without any trouble. Ravali called the upgraded flight range adequate, which coming out of his mouth was high praise indeed. Yay! So upgrading the great bow because it looks so good. High resell. We don't want that on this. We're going to sell it. High speed attack, damage at full hearts, strong attack damage. <laughs> Raise up the great eagle bow. Do do do. We'll keep the claymore out. Just increase. <laughs> increase the decrease. I'd never even equip that weapon. Me dumb. I am dumb. Still a few side missions to do. Mastering Cryonis or Mastering Remote Bombs. Let's see, who do we want? Well, let's keep up leveling Ravali. Well, we won't do it just now. Teleport away to another world. Guarding. Fuse multiple weapons in the middle of a... Yep. Apples. Gotta love the apples. Will you open for me? He will not. Behold, stop. Be still. 
missed the arrow folly, but oh well. It's a weak enemy anyway. Like through, or is it this way? It's the completely other direction. Silly me. Can't destroy those boxes. Time to destroy Moblin. Cool down. Goodbye, dear sir. Maybe, maybe he'll survive. Nope. The only possible solution. He dies. I live. Didn't really use that much cryonis, really. I just killed things. Load, load. And we'll do this one with Impa. And actually give her the weapon we've been leveling up all this time. Mastering remote bombs. Because, as you can clearly see, I have been using the Chica Slate for everything. And I also keep forgetting to use the rods. They're pretty. If I actually knew how to use them properly, they would probably do a lot of work for them. <laughs> just pay for themselves, really. I just never use them. Kill them all. Bash them all. Slice them all. Okay, that doesn't even set off the bombs. That's rude. Give me my magic power. I guess that's how, <laughs> kind of funny, the Sheikah, like ancient technology, and the Sheikah can just shoot laser beams. My lovelies. Might as well use these. <coughs> that one <laughs> goblin sees nothing. Goodbye, sir. Kill, kill, kill! Goodbye. You're supposed to despawn, fool. Yet they just stand here. Now they're flying kind of away, but not really. Once again, I didn't even use remote bombs. Actually, at least I used one Cryonis for Rivali. There, I didn't even use bombs once. I tried to set off the barrel, but Shadow Clones don't affect barrels, apparently. It's very rude. La la la. I 
explosive handle with care. Kill all the things! Complete quests on the Hyrule map to unlock new services. That is what I've been trying to do. It is what I've been uh, trying to uh, uh, trying to do. Okay, they. Yeah, who's gonna wonder? Destroy! Destroy! I am ready. We are going to bury you in explosives! A worthy adversary. <laughs> A worthy adversary. We blew him up and he did nothing. More explosions! I am ready. Floating explosions this time. Come this way. Let's do it. And we'll get super explosion from this, possibly. Love it. Slow down is always magical when it is by your own power that it is caused. Give me your power. Die. Ah, burning apples. <laughs> it's like, what's that over there? What oddness <laughs> this way comes. Apples. But of course. Run from my army. Run from me. Fear me. They do not show fear nearly as much as they should. Ah, more beetles. Maybe at this rate we'll be able to do that beetle place. Give me ten types of beetle. But three of them. Anti-ice training. You have a lot to look forward to. Yes, I do, my boy. Destroy the ice people. You've heard of the sand people, the Tusken Raiders of Star Wars. Now we must destroy the ice people. Then again, I think that's kind of the plot of some Norse myths. 
The ice giants. We must kill them. And then Loki will come along and Ragnarok will be prophesized. Be gone, Wizrobe. I was trying to fly away. Be still. Be gone, Ice Moblin. At least one of them. We must head this way. Up the mountain we must fly. None for you. Ice Vortex. Ice Vortex. Well, not Ice Vortex. It's Wind Vortex, but still. Misses all his shots and then it just dies. Fantastic. Booyah. Wahoo, wahoo. Link bonus heart. Even on busy days, the Kakariko village innkeeper always leaves something out for the goddess statue. Her friends fear she is overextending herself. Perhaps Link can help with the offering. The innkeeper was relieved she could take a day off from tending to the goddess statue. Others in the village inspired by Link's generosity will help with the offering going forward. Now the question is, who next? Obviously, we must go to the fish people. Come along, Rivali. Changing character. Yes, I've already been doing that. Come along, Rivali. We have things we must do. Experience to be had, since this is a big thing. This is a big story thing. And now we fly off. Can you keep up while well, he's behind? At the same time, he Link is on an air glider, a hand glider. The long-lived Zora, who could traverse rivers and lakes with ease, lived in Laneru, at a resplendent place dubbed Zora's Domain. Nifa, a Zora princess with the power to heal others' wounds, was selected to pilot Divine Beast Valuta. Accompanied by Link and the rest of her party, Zelda headed to Zora's domain, where she was granted an audience with King Dorothan. And surely this time we won't have to fight anyone! Wink, wink! Nifa, pilot the divine beast. King Dorothan. King of the Zora. Yes, my father.
working room has faith she will do her utmost with your permission of course hmm. this will be a dangerous mission piloting the divine beast against the darkness and i understand that the knight who will see that darkness has not yet appeared. That is true. I must refuse. I cannot send my daughter into such peril. He's like the complete opposite <laughs> of King Rome. I bring news. Death and destruction come. Well, Link, you've grown since I last saw you. Mifa, Zora Wellspring. not changed <gasps> this creature is a guardian he's a very special guardian he's a time traveling guardian <laughs> how cute <laughs> here's Bridges the guardian the guardian of the sand monsters on the side and quivers before him <gasps> what of my father his majesty is leading the army to intercept he thought the prince was here with you. Sidon is missing. Puny Sidon, not beef boy Sidon. We must go and save him from himself, obviously. We will find Sidon. You must watch over the domain. Highness. Love the look of the game. Time for destruction. Let's see. Oh, I can't get there. Love the music. Stick with Link, everybody. Love the music. Get off my bridge! Dang it! Blow him up! Weak point smash! Open the gates! Now we can expand our search. Ravali! Cost from Lady Mifa. Monsters ahead, I'll wield lightning! Like I care. Magnetism. I love that you can do that to some enemies. Where could he have wandered off to in the middle of a wall?
Aha, we got a rush off there. Bomb time. Ravali, the Rush King, when it comes to lightning, apparently. Unattended, the worst fate. Come to Ravali. I love slow down by the high end of might of mine. He just has such clearing ability in this game. Stay safe, don't die. Destroy boxes for more rupees and items sometimes. Blow up that skull. What magics. Ah, good. Not really. Stay alive, fool. Get ah. One downside, flying it does not work all that well. <laughs> with stairs. Onwards we must travel. Still, please. Be gone, ice wizard robe. Love the music. Get a head start going back, would you? Cool down. Cool down. Watch. 
Take him down. You stand a chance. Too easy. Get another victory. Me Get a hand on her combos. I think she actually can heal allies, which is super cool. Someone, please help! Dying out there. What is killing him that quickly? Get away from the boy. Uh, wrong one, but that eh, kind of works. Be gone! Master of just going zoo. He's very far away, all things considered. Please don't die, dude. I'm passing up so many things to get to you. Understandable, there's quite a few things out to kill you here. Die, electric moblin, to water. from the dude. Man, that guy almost died. Get away, get away from him. Please don't run into battle.
Be gone, Wizrobe. Enough out of you. Bye-bye. We shall conquer all these places so that they'll be nice and cozy. Too high up for the bombs. That seems a bit cheap. And all the other ones hit even in the midair, so I guess he was just too far up. When in doubt, freeze him! Drop an iceberg on its head. Goodbye, Nessa. Once again, keep missing everything because I'm shooting around him. I find it funny that you can open the chests, but if you leave, they just open on their own. Be gone, be gone, be gone, baby. I have an appointment to make at the bottom of a mountain. Be gone, electric. Peace. Oh boy. It's a big boy. And a not so big boy. A big boy and a future big boy. An absolute unit. Make it so no one can see anything. If the enemy can't see, I can't see. But that doesn't matter, because I'm the main character. Ravali, obviously. The hero of time. Does that make the egg the hero of time in this timeline? Well, then again, it's not really the timeline. It's like, where even is it in the timeline, do people theorize? Or is it just a conglomeration of all... <laughs> It's a compilation best of of the timeline. Be still. It's nice and quick, but not quick enough, Lionel. Now you die. I will blow you up with bombs. You stand a chance. Be still. Take it. 
Yay! One turn. And kill. Huzzah! Ah, oh, come on. We killed it. And yet it ran away in reality. How the hell does he become the beef boy? No one knows. Why would you try to fight that beast alone? Sidon, little prince of the Zora. An egg told me to do it. I'm so worried about you. <laughs> but still, I am proud. What a brave little brother I have. <laughs> he has the smile, at least. <laughs> Further armies. Oh yeah, I think this is one of the times where we use the Divine Beasts. At long last. Her bracelet has a heart on it. That is adorable. It's the Grand Beast, the Divine Beast, the Divine Bast. And lots of items. Yay. Lots of items. <laughs> Zora Helm. But no time to waste. We have an elephant to grind. Can't block that. Yeesh. <laughs> Laser beams! Lasers! <sighs> Could it be? <laughs> and all the monsters run away with surprisingly human screams. Smoke control? Off, please. <laughs> It'll just conflict with my, like, I'll be like, I want to go over here. It's just like, ah! It will be madness. I'm not ready to deal with that. Divine Beast, Varuta. Press Y to swing the trunk. From the waters, it rises. Ready to murder. Are you ready to commit a war crime? Okay, that's the special ability. That's the trunk. And that's the special ability. Or the, the shield, I should say. Destroy! Let's destroy everything! Oh yeah, and if you stand in water, you get a bonus. I love that. <laughs> the magnitude of divine beast power! Magnify our power. 
gentle giant, your power is surging. Awaken the waters. Trying to fight against the divine beast. I'll use the power known as the cutscenes to the max. For trying to shoot me, you cannot shoot me. <laughs> Lasers! Destroy the landscapes. Destroy the enemies. Ah, they think this is the first time that we've run into... Ah, oh, nope, they're, they're just Lynels on a bridge. I thought they might have been the big boys that I forget the name of. The big one-eyed Cyclops dudes. Nope, they're just shooting at us. And they continue shooting at us. Man, that is probably more Lynels than exist in the entirety of Breath of the Wild. Lasers! Wait, I can do this! I forgot! Special of power! Annihilation of all enemies. You better run. We can keep everyone safe by murdering everyone else. What magic. Come on, Mifo was piloting that. She should get the experience for all those kills. This attack proves your point. We are woefully unprepared to defend against the Calamity. The Zora will face this peril head on. We must consider the future. We all share this land. So all of us must do our part. Mifa, attend. Yes, father. You will become the pilot of the divine beast, Marmota. <laughs> Come back alive, even though you can't really you stick to that. Promise to come back safely. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the point to try and come back. Now the question is, will the timeline be kind? Because, I mean, come on. If you're going to set a game in an alternate past future, you're going to save them, right? <laughs> You're gonna save them. You're gonna spare them. Mifa, Zora Wellspring. The princess of the Zora who possesses an incredible healing power. She was childhood friends with Link. Now she is entrusted with piloting divine beast, Varuta. So much more. He's like, do this one, but I can't. I need gemstones. I don't have gemstones. A villager insists she's perfected the ultimate fish dish. When eaten, it will let you endure even the hottest temperatures. She'll teach you how to make it if you bring her the ingredients. I have plenty of fish. 
The villager skewered and grilled what you brought her. Simple enough. She was right to call her recipe something special. The dish cools the body. Make it any time. You need to beat the heat. Damage. Uh, fire damage. Lowered by 50%. Two-handed sword. Uh, Two-handed weapon combo. A youth from Hatino Village wants to make a monster dummy that he can use for two-handed weapon practice. If only he had some monster parts to craft it. Sure, it's only one parts. With the material, with the materials Link gave him, the youth was able to make a true-to-life monster dummy. The pair trained together, improving Link's skill with two-handed weapons. I can do this one. A new shop owner will soon be opening his business, but wants to sell just special items that will be good for limited time only sales. Help him with to find things to stock. The shop owner was happy with the things you got for him. He thinks they'll help drum up excitement for his limited time only concept. It should be a big shopping event. Pile on, just buy a bunch of ingredients. Yeah, sure, I'll buy more uh. of them too. Stealth trap, just buy them all! Uh. So that we can try and uh. do things in the future. Uh. Uh. The vocalizations are sometimes very funny. Hey. hey! The problem with these is that they're very expensive, but at uh. the same time, very important. Jesus Christ, they cost so much. They cost so much, and I do not have the money. <laughs> ah. I'll come back, maybe. I have <laughs> so many things. So many things. Meditative training. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> the vocalizations amuse me greatly. And we still need more of those beetles. There is a boy in Zora's domain who hates swimming. Out of frustration, he's even begun shirking his training. But with something to make swimming easier, maybe he could learn to love it. <laughs> after l after learning how fun it is to splash around, the boy threw himself into swimming exercises. He even began doing laps with Mifa, who was glad to see his newfound enthusiasm. Yes, 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 I know you're pointing at that. Mastering Magnesis, but it wants me to do this one. Mifa's training. Well, Mifa, let's get to training. The Sheikah Slate. Stasis. Targeting enemies. Remember, it is the stick. It's like it's calling me out. Haha, uh -huh, you keep pressing the wrong buttons. You keep activating. Magical spell wands. Love the music. Take that. I got that off. Yay! Smash the weak point! Drown the moblin! Smack him up! I cannot fail, I cannot fail she says. I mean, canon timelines say otherwise. 
Keep drowning. Drown them all. There's just a line of dudes ready to die. I find that hilarious. Drowning power! Drown. Drown for me! The drowning is complete. I hate the arrow people. They interrupt my combos. Hopefully this will give me lots of Lizalfo stuff, though. Die. Quit spitting at me. I am the water person, not you. Run away. Run away. Here, the princess who flies through the air after you. So this is the world of Sharknado. They're actually just part Zora. How many of those abominable things did they make in the end? Like five? How do you make more than one? <laughs> That's the real question. I almost want to watch them purely to be like, how the hell do you make more than one? It's probably telling me, hey, you have lots of items. Lots of items. Da -da -da -da. Monster part drop rate. Seal matching boosts. Matching shields, seals of the same shape can greatly increase the effect the seal has, like boosting weapons attack power or even bonuses. Huh. Monster part drop rate, please. <laughs> now I shall go and begin selling some. No, no, let me go down. Get down, there is a bomb. Get out of there. They don't sell for much, do they? High resale weapon. Confirm. Oh, I can do more than one. I forgot that. We're not selling that because it's special. It, they almost all have diddly dees. Healing arm drop rate. I guess we can sell that. Damage at full hearts. We're never at full hearts. Yeah, attack range might be nice. I try not to dash too much. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you only have three, so there's no point, really. Probably do at least one more there. So I guess off to. I guess we can do this and then another mission. Never one to neglect her daily training, Mifa heads off to climb the waterfall. With something to energize her, she might be able to ascend more easily. Bonus combo! All the better to help my friends. Mifa reported in her training af uh, after her training, looking very pleased. With the boost to her stamina, she had climbed the waterfall in record time. Now, off to Death Mountain! Daruk, the Goron hero! Who do we want to take? Ravali, of course. Because he is the boy! Let's see, do we want to... Definitely want that. Don't really have any shirts for Link right now. That used to be a based weapon, except for, you know, that. And of course. You call this surprising. Mm -hmm. With souffle, we head off to a mountain of death. I think you can keep up while he is behind. Rugged Gorons lived in Goron City, a town carved into Death Mountain. They were forged in volcanic heat, their bodies as hard as stone. Daruk, a brave Goron whose power of protection could repel the mightiest of blows, was deemed the best candidate to pilot divine beast Va Rudanya. The princess and her entourage venture to Goron City in hopes of securing Daruk's cooperation. If he doesn't cooperate, we'll just have to kidnap him. It's the only way. What you'll learn about me is that I never refuse a sincere request. So of course I'm on board with your plan. Much easier than everyone else. We had to fight the Rito. We had to repel an attack at the Zora. There is one problem. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just Warudani is in a difficult spot right now. The divine beast was found pretty high up on Death Mountain. A lot of monsters have been crawling around lately. So even getting close to Warudani is a big pain. <sighs> Only the bravest go up there now. So that's oh. why it's a good thing it's gonna be us! <laughs> oh, um, of course. Come on! Death Mountain won't climb itself. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Time to fight everyone! Okay. Lord Daruk. Let's go. Be Daru. If I remember, his combo structure is a little odd. Let's see. It's over. Come along, dear brothers. Right. We must destroy. His mid stuff is wonky. Yeah, his combo structure is based around creating the... Like, the lava pillars and then detonating them with the special button.
batter him up. <laughs> no one rampages as well as you, Daruk. Oh yeah! Dang it. And I got a rush, yeah. Nope. Slam. Rook will go up the middle. Not the magma bombs. I already decided who will go where. Sorry, Daruk. Wow. Sorry, dead. Fine, fine. <laughs> fine, fine. Love the characters. Like, I just love the designs, everything. Just so happy to get to spend more time with these characters. game is just so grand. Weak spot time. By missing everyone and then just exploding them. Gone, lover slimes. I can't stop. <laughs> Just uh, Rivali gets caught on fire. Nope, <laughs> it's not gonna keep me down. I guess hmm. yeah, go after that fire moblin. Link. Link did absolutely not go where I wanted him to. Maybe I misplaced it. Smashings. 
with my favorite combo so far. Can't wait to unlock more combos. And then working them into my flow. That's the beauty of these games. Finding the best combos. Ow. Dang it. Almost there. Aha, it worked out. Always love those single turn weak point destructions. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to come up this tree. And, well, not really tree, just like artificial. <laughs> it's based off a tree, but it's metal scrap and stuff. It's like borderlandsy. Silent Shroom. Jump. Jump. But yeah, I'm just so, so happy that this game was made. If only because we actually get more music. It's like Nintendo music is always so fantastic. And Zelda music is up there with the Nintendo musics. Excuse me. Don't know why. Just random sneezes. Come for me. Devour my soul. Fly down. Capture the outpost. Echo. Dang it, I missed my... I dodged too soon. My deluge of arrows. But, eh, yeah, still killed him. Still don't know where you were supposed to be, so I guess head back to that outpost. Destroy! I need to use them more. It's like, for a moment, it's like, did Link use the diddly dee or what? Because the Sheikah Slate was on cooldown for some reason. And now I'll make my way to where Daruk is. You can lava bomb me all you want, monsters. I'm still coming to murder you. Ah, another not tree house. I'll destroy everyone here on principle. Find a Goron. Sorry, you must go. You must die because you are in the evil tree house of evil. Got mighty carp for my destruction. Always nice. And I can just fly. Fly forever. There is probably enough hot air to make that possible. Destroy. Destroy the moblin. Goodbye, Moblin. Get on my level. Learn to use technology, why don't you? We haven't found a single Korok in quite a while. Oh no. I'm gonna hunt them down sometime. That'll be <laughs> probably easier than the main Breath of the Wild. Aye. Begone, Rock Squids. 
I'm in the middle of murdering. Incidental rush. Bomb. Don't know why it took you so long. He was in that for a long time. Beat him up. Smash him up. Explode them all. Explode them all. Height, go to Rook with Cryos. Cryonis. Beat him up. Beat him up. Monsters, I'm here to murder you. Yes, yeah, spawn more. <laughs> I was like, okay, what symbol is that? I can't see through the destruction and death. Quit shooting my bird! everything. Are you dead? This might be a bit of a pain. We've just Revali unless it teleports all the dudes here. A stone, uh, lava talus, I guess? Volcanic rock talus. Either way, it's very angry. Oh, I gotta rush off that. Igneo Talus. It's almost not fair. Ow. I did not rush. But I should have. Watch. 
Kill the Igniotalis. Kill the Igniotalis. Goodbye. Go kill the moblin while I make my way to you. Ow. Stop. Stupid balloon squids. It is due to Ravali and his anger against squids that leads to the... Actually... More monsters. <laughs> Hot springs. Good time to rest our weary bones. We have a ways to go, so how about a break? Wait. Yeah, I saw the thing. It's just like, oh, it's the thing. Is it a, a Korok? No, it was not a Korok. Be gone. I have monsters to kill. In fact, Daruk. Go ahead into that moblin, and uh, you two go ahead and head to that moblin. I'll handle this on my own. On my link own. I go, I got a rush. Smack, smack, smack. Now you die. You say that, the future is in capable hands. If that were true, the other future wouldn't have happened. Really? Smack it up. Smack it up. And kill. Oh, Jesus Christ. My feathers. <laughs> My feathers. What happens when you let an AI do a player's work? Love that vertical damage. Ow, I got smacked. Turn you off. If you don't mind dying, be very kind. Get another. Ah, because we killed the dude. 
Advance halted. And Fermo was just like, what do you mean advance halted? Oh yeah, I killed the dude. He was advancing too. Wrong one. But not terrible, I guess. Explosive vindication. Now that's how you lower a bridge. At least the Goron way of lowering a bridge. But how do you raise it back up? That's the real question. We found a singular Korok here. Huzzah. Just wanted to make sure they actually died. Die, Wizro, die. The new hit show coming to somewhere near you. This is not how you fly up a tree. Okay, they actually exist up here. For a moment I thought they wouldn't because I wasn't running into any other enemies. And then they just did. I got sh What are crabs doing up here? That's the real question. My feathers. <laughs> Annihilate the fire moblin. Get another. another talus. and get rid of this guy just so that he stops bothering us. Death to the giant rock boy. Ow. Well, you're out of what mess? There aren't any enemies around you. Okay, because there's like... Okay, you have one ice <laughs> diddly near you. Is that really enough to call us all back? And Link is just not doing anything for some reason. See, this is why we have Rivali. Because L Link is being a weirdo. Can't trust Link. So we have the bird. Will you kindly let me. Okay, this works. <laughs> He's like, every single time, it's like, I'm whittling it down. I'm almost there. At the end of the Talus's weak point, there's just like, okay, I'm ready to be destroyed now. Little guy. Daruk the Goron hero. Ah, 
Ah, lots of things. Flame breaker armor. And things that we can't make, apparently. Is this going to be another use the divine beast scenario? Rivali didn't get one, but Mifa did. So now the question is, from the loading, I'm going to assume it's another divine beast. Moment. Yep. Divine beast moment. Well, maybe. It could just be an end, an end cutscene. Seeing it again, it's even bigger than I remembered. The egg points. Go to it, Goron man. Let's get right to it then. Ooh, I can't wait. Let's -a go, Divine Beast time. Salamander is ready to kill. Destroy, destroy. If you see a giant salamander coming for you, I would run. Just some advice. It's getting more KOs in seconds that our entire journey up here to took indiscriminate destruction. Some floating guys too. Let's send them flying with the rest. I could just to block. I just get set up to grab. Nope. Hello, Stone Talith or Igneo Talis. Have your rock back. This is probably not going according to their plan. The monsters are just like, yeah, we'll be perfectly fine. You can have it back. <laughs> ah, there's the floaty guys. You know what? This seems like the perfect place for laser beams. Yeah, we just annihilated everything down this corridor. With a few stragglers here or there, probably. But, eh. Okay, we can't do We're not allowed to annihilate that. This is why the Divine Beasts are awesome. <laughs> and then just an army of Igneo Taluses. Things that don't show up in more than groups of, uh, like, I don't know, three at most. Have it back. Just 
just keep grabbing them. Keep grabbing and throwing them back. Just keep grabbing and throwing them back. It is deadly ping pong. Too bad your only strength is throwing things. And my strength is catching the things you throw and throwing them back. Here you, uh, you drop this. Here you go. <laughs> Death from above. <laughs> Blow him away. That is how you be a hero. You stamp on them to death. Crush your enemies, literally and violently. <laughs> that was unexpected, but we pulled through in the end. You really proved yourself, hey little guy? <laughs> now, about me piloting Lutania. Well, go ahead and count the mighty Daruk in. Thank you, Daruk. Of course! We'll smash that calamity cannon jerk to smithereens! <laughs> Through the power of friendship, but true this time! You must be starving after all that fighting. I know just the cure for that. <laughs> My favorite, prime rock roast. <laughs> Is it a rock with a bone in it? It looks like a rock with a bone in it. Link will try. Link succeeds, apparently. Yeah, sorry. How thoughtless of me. I should have brought some for you, tiny princess. Next time, I promise to bring enough for everyone. Thank you. Link. <laughs> he might need the power of, like, potions and clothing to go into hot places. But molten rock roast... Food? Link says, My mouth is ready for this. <laughs> Bloody hilarious. Daruk, Goron Stalwart. A Goron warrior who possesses the power to deflect attacks. He cares deeply for his fellow Gorons. Now he is entrusted with piloting divine beast, Varudanya. We'll do whatever diddly dees we can, uh, like, uh, the recipes and stuff like that, quests. And then, I believe we will end. Gallery has been updated. What's in the gallery? Ah, these are the gallery. An end to fighting. A farming co-op should cooperate. But instead, the farmers here and there are arguing about water. What they need is a good irrigation canal. Pay Gorons to help build it for them. Sure thing! There goes our one ruby. When the farmers saw the new irrigation canal, they stopped arguing and came together as a co-op again. They've been, inspiring. They've been inspired to open a shop to sell goods to. Hi! Hi! Give me those beehives. Give me that milk. Give me that acorns. Give me those tree nuts. A famed sculptor is taking his first ever trip to Goron City, and he would like to donate a wood carving. However, he would will need some fire-resistant coating to ensure it does not burn in Eden's heat. Elden. Elden's heat. After a liberal coating of fireproof materials, the unique sculpture was finally complete. The figure defying even Death Mountain's flames truly captured the hearts of the Gorons. This is most important. A young Goron has achieved his dreams and opened a shop but he wants a sign that's special, like made with stones that are special. Any idea what he might need? 
Luckily, we killed all the stones we need to do that in the last one. Using the rare stones you got, the Goron made a sign with the name of his shop, Royo Royo Depot. He, that really fired him up about opening his place. Visit the shop anytime. Yeah. Yeah. Daruk is going to lead a class of aspiring climbers on a journey to the top of Death Mountain. Pack some heat-resistant materials so that nobody gets cooked. With plenty of fire-resistant materials to go around, the mountain climbing class went off without a hitch. As an added bonus, Daruk thought of a new move while training was underway. A stable master has asked you to get supplies to help his customers. These travelers struggle at the heat of the Elden region. What can you find that will give them relief? How about dead Lazolfos? After you gave the stable master the fire resistant materials, he's passed them along to his customers. As a result, word spread of his kindness, and now his stable is very popular. There isn't a merchant there right now. I shall assign you to the censor. Ah. Funnily enough, we can do that one. And then this one. Yeah, so two quests to do later. Well, we could do it right now. But first, uh, let's look at this. Impa promised to play with the Sheikah children on their upcoming rest day. The kids spend nearly all their time training. She'd like to spoil them a bit with some treats. Impa and the young Sheikah all savored a long, lazy day lounging around and stuffing their faces with sweets. Soon they'd be back at work, but in the meantime, it was nice to relax a bit. And with all that... I guess we can do this one, because we probably have lots of those. Zelda seems calm as she carries out her role, greeting visitors from afar. But in fact, anxieties keep her awake at night. The waiting maid asks for your help soothing the troubled princess. It seems I've grown stronger. With the incense lit in her bedchamber, Princess Zelda fell into a deep slumber. The waiting maid, whispering so as not to awaken her highness, suggested this remedy might help others as well. Yep, and I think that will do it for now, and we will do it later. Well, continue this later at another stream. God, I love this game. Sure, the frame rate can dip down here or there, but just playing it, the experience, the characters, the music, the fact that it did, like, the one thing that Almost everyone wanted. Return to the past and save the amazing characters. Love this game. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Neon Icy Wings. If you'd like more from me, you can hit me up on YouTube at Neon Icy Wings for edited content or Neon Icy Games, where recordings of these VODs go. Or, if you want other things from me, like my art that I'm trying to do more and really should incorporate into my stream somehow, uh, you can catch me on Twitter, YouTube, uh, yes, YouTube, I already said that, Twitter, Newgrounds, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and more. And, well, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can watch these live at twitch.tv Neon Icy Wings. I will see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.